I think it could look, work, could look blah 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 it could work really well so uh, get the camera gear out and we'll see what we got Uh, good afternoon and welcome back to Stanton. Now, location isn't really an issue. We've been here many times, as you've probably known if you've been following the channel for a while. Um, but the type of photography is an issue. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I bumped into uh, Andy Curtis down at Malden Hill, um, and he was taking a photo which advertently made it into the advert um, and onto the head of one of the photography pages on Facebook. And for that photo, photo he used a lens ball. So I got myself a lens ball and but I'd give it a go myself. So uh, it's a bit blowy. Whether that'll make a difference or not, I don't know. Uh, but we're, we're gonna give it a go ourselves. Now, uh, I'm not only gonna be using the lens ball today, um, we're walking around a field which we don't very normally come into. We've been into it once a little while ago, and just, we just walked up the side of the, of the wooded area, but this time we walked around the field. And in the center of the field, um, there is a group of, of dead trees for more of a better description um, and a little while ago I decided that it would make a good photo on a windy day because I wanted the clouds moving above them because on their own they're, they're nothing really they're just dead trees in the middle of a field but with a bit of cloud movement and a bit of a long exposure above um, it could be quite a dynamic photo so we're just walking around the field we're going to work our way around to the other side where the sun's shining onto the trees rather than against the trees give us our best light and uh, see if I can't get something from that on, on a perfect day for it really so uh, we're working our way around now and I'll talk to you when we get around there Okay, so I've got a tent stop on. Um, got the trees centered in the middle. Um, there's a bit of dead grass around the bottom of them. I've got that sort of at the bottom of the, at the, bottom of the frame. I've got F18 for 30 seconds, ISO 100. Um, keep the image nice and clean. Uh, if you're going, if you're starting doing landscape photography, you want to keep your ISO as low as you can. So if you're on a tripod, and then you can always be on ISO 100, really. Um, F18, because I want to stretch that exposure out. Like I say, I'm on 10 stop. Two second timer um, the first one come out not too bad uh, there's a little bit of movement in the trees um, so you'll get a little bit of blur on them but uh, I don't think it'll be anything significant um, I think it'll add to the image to be honest uh, but the clouds are moving really quite nicely I'll see what this, this second image is like um, and I'll see if I can get a bit more movement by putting the 15 stop on and see what that gives me so uh, so yeah Nice sturdy tripod, dig your legs in when it's nice and windy. And uh, I'm not using the lens ball for this one. I'm going to use the lens ball around on the lake a little bit later on. Uh, we might get some sort of sunset if we're here late enough, I don't know. Um, but we'll have to just wait and see. So that image didn't come out too bad. But I'm going to change it up for the 15 stop filter. I'll probably have to learn my S stop. Um, a little bit because the 15 stop filter is uh, really quite dark. So I'm about to lower that to uh, well, basically. In fact, I have to put it to bulb mode because it's too dark. So, camera release into bulb mode. Um, I'm going to go with F11 um, and I'm going to have a quick look at my trusty Lee app. Now you can download it, it's for free if you've got the Lee system or any any system really. If um, It'll give you an indication of length of your shutter that you need to leave it open for. So I've got uh, proper exposure without any filters is F11 1 25th of a second. So if you dial in 1 25th of a second, um, no, that's a bit too long. We want about one. Oh yeah, it's going to be about like four minutes with a 15 stop, which is quite nice. So uh, we'll go for that and see what happens. Okay, so I've changed the filter up, cleaned it up, um, got it in bold mode, shutter release, F11, ISO 100, and I'll see you in four minutes. Okay, now using the 15 stop filter, you're obviously going to be uh, having long, long exposures. 
four minutes, five minutes is about as much as I think I've done in the past. Uh, but the one thing that you must remember is to block off your eyepiece. You don't want any light leaks going into the back of the camera. So it's really important that you block off your eyepiece. Um, I have to confess, I did forget when I pressed the shutter speed, but I've since stopped it and since covered it up. Um, it's quite a lot to remember when you're doing this long exposure photography, but I've got some nice movement in the clouds. So hopefully, fingers crossed, once this one's done, it should be all right. Okay, so hopefully that's the first image in the bag. Um, like I say, you would have seen it before me, technically. Um, but yeah, quite pleased with it on the back of the camera. Uh, so we're gonna go for a wander. Gonna go for a wander through the forest, well, forest, through the wooded area of the trees, I suppose. Um, and like I say, I'm not gonna get the lens ball out till we get back round to the lake. And hopefully this wind will drop. windy today. Uh, hang on a sec, I'll put you the other side. That's better. It's extremely windy today. Um, and uh, I'm not really sort of seeing much in the way of images walking around this part of the walk. Uh, so I'm going to wait until we get back round to the other side of the lake. I've got a job to hold this tripod steady. Um, get around, wait till we get round to the other side of the lake. And hopefully there might be some nice little reflections there. And hopefully there's some water coming over the waterfall. That might be quite nice with the uh, with the lens ball. So uh, we'll go around and have a look. Very muddy. I'll be careful that we don't slip over. But, uh, yeah, it's taking our time. We're going our way back through to the lake. Uh, some really nice light being cast on the trees and as you can probably see um, but I don't think there's an image there nice light no image um, I'm still gonna wait until we get around to the lake I think that's where the best images are to be had so uh, we're working our way around there slowly on a windy day, eh? <laughs> I 
Okay, so we're working our way around to working our way around to the lake. Um, while we're on our way around, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the new subscribers for joining joining the channel, and um, hope you enjoy the content. Um, if you haven't yet seen or are not aware of my Monday night uploads, um, I do a Monday night macro feature, and that's every Monday at six. Um, and I'll put a link to the playlist in the description below. So just click on that and they'll all play one after another from the start. Um, on that one we look at um, macro images um, and also stock images as well. Um, so yeah, go over there, check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments and try and get involved. I do try and get um, viewers involved in that one. I want to hear what you want to see under a macro lens. So head over there, drop me a comment. Um, and if you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and then when they upload every Monday, you'll get to hear about it. Um, and the same goes for this channel, or the same for, for this um, upload. They're every Thursday at 6. And yeah, like I said, if you haven't yet subscribed, then please consider doing so. And uh, hit the little bell, and you'll be notified when they go up. Um, do all sorts of different photography, it's not just one style. I like to do sort of four different types. Not really a portrait photographer. Um, but uh, long exposures, seascapes, landscapes, um, all that sort of stuff, black and white, macro, um, light trails. So yeah, so that's what we get up to on the channel. So if you haven't yet, then please do consider subscribing. On that note, I'll shut up and we'll get around to the lake. Uh, getting back round to the lake now, um, and I have seen a couple of images lately um, of the overflow um, and they've been pretty they've been good they've been very good um, but I've never seen one actually I can recall um, taken with a lens ball so that's where we're heading we're heading for the overflow and we're gonna see if we can't take an image of the overflow from the lake um, with a lens ball um, perched on one of the posts hopefully that'll give us a bit of a different image than we normally get hopefully there's some water coming over it still Okay, so I've set the composition up. I've got the, the lens ball actually balanced on the fence. And I've done two, I'm taking two images. One's a quick image, about a third of a second, obviously focusing on the ball. Um, the water, there's plenty of water coming over the waterfall today. And um, I'm going for a long exposure, three second image as well, using the ball. I wish there was a bit of blue sky in the ground, in the, in the sky, but uh, unfortunately you can't have everything. Um, but first attempt with the lens ball, you tell me. Let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that one for a first attempt, or first two attempts. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for tuning in again this week uh, that's that's it for this week um, i hope you enjoyed it i've only done a couple of two or three photos but i think they've come out okay uh, let's say let me know what you think here in the comments and don't forget monday night macro go and check it out i'll put a link up here um, for you to go and see the first one and then if you haven't seen them and then you can go on to the playlist i put the playlist here actually and then um you can watch through the playlist not sure where we're off to next week but i'm sure we're off to somewhere in and around Swindon again. May take the lens ball out again, who knows. But uh, for now, from Stanton. See you later.